It simply sets out that you are given a fixed price for an installation that you build uh, uh, that is fixed for 20 years. Uh, that law was passed uh, in order to give small independent power producers a chance to get into that market and to sell their electricity at a decent price. The German Environment Ministry has announced that over 200,000 people are now employed in the renewable energy industry. It produces 12% of its electricity from renewable sources, solar, wind, hydro and biomass, and growth in this sector is the highest in Europe. The incentive was the Renewable Energy Act of 1999. This is our latest solar uh, power plant that we just finished last year in June. It was financed by citizens putting in money. We have 18 shareholders in this. And in June, in just one day, it produced all the electricity my household consumes in a complete year, in just one day. We can only do this, of course, because we have a minimum price law. We have a price for electricity here that is fixed, that, is ca that can be calculated. And this is why uh, a small company like mine can go to a bank, say, look, we have this site, we have the panels, uh, can you give us the finance? And, and they said yes. Uh, without the minimum price that is guaranteed for 20 years, this would definitely have not been bankable. ago, Herr Schnurer and his partner moved into this development where they paid extra to have a house with photovoltaics on the roof. First we invested in the photovoltaic installation and we know if it functions properly it generates slightly more than 5,000 watts. That's much more than we consume. Through the Renewable Energies Law, we will have a return on our investment capital of 8.8% in 2006. This is significantly more than any bank can currently offer us. Based on the experience with our photovoltaic installation, the payback time will be approximately 12 years. But it will even be profitable beyond this point because it generates more electricity than we consume as an average household. Householders in Germany who can now sell renewable energy back to the utilities, companies can do it too. We work with logs from Black Forest. 90% of our products is uh, wood production and 10% uh, of our turnaround is electricity. This timber merchant creates extra profits from the new power plant it has built. It powers the works and the surplus electricity is sold to the grid. In Freiburg, the Fraunhofer Solar Energy Institute, a research and development establishment, has felt the benefits of the law's introduction. The renewable energy law, which is guaranteeing a feed-in tariff, um, touches photovoltaics as uh, the topic among our three uh, uh, main topics at the Institute. So for photovoltaics, this really has caused uh, a stronger demand from, from the industry side, and it has made it possible for us to set up a new lab the renewable energy law in 1999 was a real starter for the industry in Germany because in 1997, uh, for example, when I started my PhD, all the uh, in industry in PV production uh, was gone from Germany. Everything, everybody went to the States or, or to, to Japan. And just at the end of the 90s, we had a really a rapid growth of the institute of about 40% each year. The main architect of the German Renewable Energy Act was Hermann Scheer. Roughly 30 countries have copied 
our renewable energy end. And it will become more. It's only a question of political will. Only a question of political will. Nothing else.